What will the future home on the moon be built with? How should it be built? China is building houses on the moon. Recently, the Chang'e 6 lunar probe displayed a small national flag, which attracted great attention from the Chinese people and even the world. Because this flag is not made of cloth or paper, but made of rock. China innovatively used basalt to melt and draw basalt fibers and made this flag. This technology, which sounds beyond human imagination, has not only been realized, but it is only the beginning. According to the plan of the team of academician Ding Laiyun of Huazhong University of Science and Technology, China can build a brick kiln on the moon in the future and then use lunar soil to burn bricks to build a lunar base. This whole process does not require human intervention and can be completely executed by robots. At present, the team has simulated the vacuum environment of the moon on the Earth and produced a sample of lunar soil bricks laying the foundation for China to burn brick kills on the moon in the future and using lunar soil bricks to build a lunar base in the shape of a moon pot. Let's take a closer look in this video. Do you dare to think about building a building on the moon? Academician Ding Liayun's team at Huazhong University of Science and Technology not only dares to think but also dares to do it. They named the lunar base built by China on the moon Yuhu Zun, which is a building that looks like an eggshell. It is planned to use lunar soil to burn lunar bricks and then use robots to build them. They have prepared the first simulated lunar soil vacuum sintering printing sample in China, achieving a major breakthrough from 0 to 1. According to reports, whether Yuhu Zun was built before or after people went to the moon has not been considered maturely, and the current preliminary research is an exploration. As a building, Yuhu Zun does not have the four beams and eight columns that bear the weight. The top of the eggshell is a dome structure. The eggshell is divided into two layers, inner and outer, with a layer of rib-like structure in the middle to enhance stability. It is three meters long and wide, similar to a circular house, with the room divided into upper and lower floors, divided into a workroom and a restroom. This bold idea was proposed by Ding Laiyun an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering and chief scientist of the National Digital Construction Technology Innovation Center. They combined the traditional Chinese brick-making construction method with the 3D printing construction method and designed and built the lunar base by using the overall prefabrication assembly and partial printing connection method. It is impossible to carry building materials from the Earth to build the lunar base, which would be extremely expensive. Ding Laiyun positioned the Yuhu Zun as in situ construction, that is, the main construction materials come from the moon itself rather than the Earth. It felt difficult at first, but now there is some technical support, and it is not as difficult as before. Because there is no atmosphere on the moon and the heat capacity and thermal conductivity of lunar materials are very low, the temperature difference between day and night on the lunar surface is very large. During the day, the temperature on the lunar surface can reach up to 127 degrees Celsius in places where the sun shines vertically. At night, its surface temperature can drop to minus 183 degrees Celsius. Building a house in such a place is undoubtedly a test. The architectural style should fully consider thermal insulation. The Chinese team has been making various attempts to build what kind of building on the moon. At first, they tried dome structures, arch structures, and columnar structures. Many shapes have been tried repeatedly to meet the use environment of the lunar surface and be easy to build. By the end of 2021, the Yuhu Zun, with an upright eggshell shape, will become the standard style of lunar base buildings. 
Chinese experts said that earthquakes are frequent on the lunar surface, and the stability of the Yuhu Zun shape can withstand small earthquakes, and it also happens to meet the efficiency of building insulation. China's lunar exploration project shows that there may be an area with continuous light at the south pole of the moon, which can be used as an ideal site for a lunar base. The international consensus on lunar construction is that no materials should be brought from the Earth, and materials on the moon should be used as much as possible for in situ construction. The volcanic ash found by Ding Liayun's team in a crater in Jilin province became the simulated lunar soil for building the Yuhuzun. The biggest challenge of building a house on the moon lies in the extreme environment. In addition to the impact of the huge temperature difference between day and night on the structural performance of the house, there are also unfavorable factors such as the vacuum environment with different heat dissipation rules from the Earth. The longer and more frequent moonquakes, the frequent impact of meteorites on the lunar surface, and the gravity of the lunar surface will change the stress state of materials and structures. The team initially envisioned two ways to build the Yuhu Zun on the lunar surface. One is to use 3D printing construction. First, the foundation is laid on the lunar surface using the grouting reinforcement method, and then the structure is printed on the foundation. The dome is fixed by the airbag placement method, and then the dome is printed on the airbag and finally printed into shape. The other method mainly uses robotic arm assembly construction. The lunar soil bricks sintered by solar energy or laser are assembled piece by piece by a robotic arm, and the dome of the Yuhu Zun is prepared in advance. Each construction method has its own advantages. 3D printing requires carrying adhesives from the Earth to the Moon. Generally, the weight of adhesives accounts for 10% to 15% of the total construction materials. If the Yuhu Zun weighs 20 tons, then 3D printing requires at least 2 tons of adhesives. 2 tons of adhesive plus 300 kilograms of 3D printing equipment, a total of 2.3 tons of materials sent to the moon, a total cost of 15.4 billion yuan, and a construction cost of 850 million yuan per square meter, which is much higher than the ground construction cost. The robotic arm assembly construction requires the use of high energy beams, solar energy or laser, to sinter the lunar soil, lay a layer of lunar soil and sinter it once, and repeat this process until the Yuhu Zun is fully assembled. The advantage is that the construction cost is relatively cheap, only robotic arms and firing equipment are needed, which is lighter than the materials sent to the moon by 3D printing, and the construction cost is also reduced. However, this type of construction is risky, and it is difficult to overcome the temperature difference on the lunar surface, which can easily cause structural deformation. Ding Liayun's team finally integrated the two construction plans into a robot called Moon Spider. Moon Spider is a 3D printing robot that looks like a spider from a distance. The upper part is a hybrid robotic arm and the lower part is a multi-legged platform. According to the design requirements, the robotic arm weighs 200 kilograms and the chassis weighs 500 kilograms. The robotic arm can also be replaced with a 3D printer during construction. The steps for printing the moon pot zoon on the ground and printing on the moon are the same. The difference is the difference in construction environment. The construction on the moon needs to consider the structure and materials as a whole. In order to reduce costs, the Chinese team proposed whether the adhesive, which accounts for 10% to 15%, can be reduced to less than 10%, and the strength remains unchanged. 
The assembly construction of the robotic arm can design a lighter equipment to reduce the cost of transportation between the Earth and the Moon. Using the Moon's own materials to build will greatly reduce costs, and this is also the path taken abroad. The idea of building a lunar base began in 2015. At that time, academician Ding Laiyun, who focused on digital construction research, found in his research that the most important aspect of building transformation and upgrading is 3D printing, and the idea of printing a base on the moon is a very natural idea. Some architectural landscapes or small structures are often impossible to do manually, but 3D printing is easy to complete which made academician Ding Laiyun keenly aware that unmanned 3D printing can only play its value in extreme environments. Where is the extreme environment? The first thing he thought of was the extreme environment outside the Earth, such as on the Moon or Mars. Academician Ding Laiyun did not leave the idea on paper, aiming at the construction of the lunar base and leading the team to do it. Wu Weiren, chief designer of China's Lunar Exploration Project and academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, paid attention to this scientific research project and believed that the idea of printing a base on the moon, research on lightweight and reconfigurable lunar construction methods, is a basic research and very valuable. At the end of 2021, the Ministry of Science and Technology of China will include research on lightweight and reconfigurable lunar construction methods in the key R&D plan, making it a key project of engineering science and comprehensive intersection. Huazhong University of Science and Technology has become the chief scientist unit of the project. At present, there are still a series of problems to be solved in the project, such as how the inflatable facilities inside the Yuhu Zun will work after it is printed and the specific location of the lunar surface for building the Yuhu Zun. Many problems need to be solved. At present, the Chinese team is exploring from zero to one. It cannot be said that it can be used immediately. This is a relatively long-term plan. Through further lunar exploration, more information may be obtained and the technical route may be changed in the future, or a newer technical path may be adopted to build a lunar base. Not only that, Chinese scientists have also discovered through research that the temperature in the lunar cave can be kept constant, and the temperature is 1720 degrees suitable for humans. The most important thing is that it can avoid the influence of lunar dust, sputtering, even small meteorites, cosmic rays, etc., and the cave space is relatively large. Combined with previous technologies, using caves to build lunar bases can allow humans to settle on the moon faster. From a series of brain holes of scientists, we can see that with the development and progress of science and technology, the lunar base or settlement on the moon, which was once just a fantasy, can be so close to reality, especially after some science fiction scenes have become reality one by one. Even ordinary people can feel the changes brought about by China's scientific and technological progress. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.